So if you click that, you can now simply enjoy Spotify from your car without having to pay anything extra. Hi there, and welcome to TechPlower, and welcome to my Tesla Model 3. We have yet another software update from Tesla. So let's dive into the release notes and see what we got. So I've opened up the release notes, and now you can see that I'm in version 2024.38.6. Before this update, I was in 2024.32.7. So we have a few updates since my last update. So let's go through them. So the .6 update simply has some minor fixes and improvements. So nothing to report there. Then we have 2024.38.4. And there we have some more exciting updates. So let's check it out. First of all, we have Spotify free. What does that mean? We already had Spotify on the Tesla. Yes, we had, but it required premium connectivity. But this update allows you to listen to Spotify even though you don't have premium connectivity. You can listen to it without paying any subscription to Spotify. Then of course with some ads, but you can also log in to your premium account at Spotify and listen to Spotify without ads in your Tesla. That is really handy. Then your Spotify listening doesn't need to be connected to your Tesla premium connection. Next one is custom mirror tilted positions. This means that you can now customize how much the side mirrors will tilt when you put the car into reverse. This can be really handy because I sometimes feel like the mirrors are tilted too much, but now I can customize it to my liking. We'll take a look at it shortly. Then we have some other updates. Let's see what that's all about. The first one here is improvements to the diagnostic panel for your Wi-Fi. It now shows more information and also shows tips to improve the connectivity. That could come in handy. The next one adds the side mirror folding to the left scroll wheel menu. So now if you hold the left scroll button, you will be able to select to fold the side mirrors as well. Then they simply say that they have some security fixes and improvements and minor fixes and improvements in this update as well. This is not all, because there are more features that are not mentioned in the release notes for this version. For example, now you can see what hardware version you have for the camera system in your car. You also get a feature called Curvature Assist, and that is related to Autopilot. This feature helps you when you have Autopilot active and the car is going through quite a steep curve. Then the Curvature Assist kicks in and helps you stay on the road. So instead of just reading the release notes, let's see how many of these features I can show you now. Let's start with the Spotify free feature. You can already see that I have the Spotify icon here, but you can also find Spotify under the menu here, and here you have Spotify. So if you click that, you can see that I get a warning to keep listening, update your Spotify account in 20 days. This is because with premium connectivity, you previously got a new account that was paid by Tesla, but that's, that is ending in 20 days, sadly. If you don't care about the occasional ads that could play, you can now simply enjoy Spotify from your car without having to pay anything extra. But if you want to skip the ads, you can buy a premium subscription at Spotify and log into that account here in your car. And now you can enjoy ad-free Spotify listening on your Tesla without the Tesla premium connectivity. It's as simple as that. Next, let's take a look at the side mirror custom tilt positioning. You will find that under your car icon, controls, and then mirrors. You will see a new button here, adjust tilted position. If you click that, you can select whether you want to adjust the left or the right side mirror. And then you simply use the left scroll wheel to adjust the tilt of the side mirror. So go down to tilt the side mirror down and go up to tilt it up. You can do the same for the right side mirror. You still use the left scroll wheel though and just go up or down to adjust the tilt position of that mirror as well. When you're satisfied with the position, you simply click the save button. 
And that tilt position will then be used when you switch to reverse in your car. Kind of neat. And since we were talking about the mirrors, you can now use the left scroll wheel if you hold it down. I usually have it for the fan speed, but if I tilt the scroll wheel to the left, I can now scroll down and we can find the fold mirrors. So if I select that, I will fold the mirrors when clicking the left scroll wheel. That could be handy when you're going into a really tight spot and you're afraid that the side mirrors will touch something on the side. So you can do the same to unfold the mirrors, hold down the left scroll wheel and the side mirrors will fold out again. But I usually have it at the fan speed because it's really handy to be able to access the fan speed easily. So the next minor update was some updates to the diagnostic screen for the Wi-Fi. So here I'm in the Wi-Fi. I simply press the car icon and then the Wi-Fi symbol here. So here we have the diagnostic button. So if we open that, we can see that we now have some more details on the Wi-Fi connection. And now it says optimal. So I guess if I have a bad connection, I would get some suggestions down here on how to improve the connection. So this could be really handy if you have a bad connection when you're trying, for example, to update your car. And then you could get some good tips on how to improve your connection. So this is a tiny change, but could really come in handy sometimes. One of the updates that weren't mentioned in the release notes is that you can now see what version of the hardware you have in your car. So if you go into the car menu, scroll down to software, you can see that down here it says autopilot computer, full self-driving computer 3. This 3 wasn't there before. So this 3 is indicating in my case that I have hardware 3 in my car. Since this is a Tesla Model 3 from 2021, that is of course what I have. But in the latest cars you have hardware 4. That could be handy to know because sometimes there are features coming in that are limited, for example, to the hardware for cars. Then you can directly know, okay, this feature won't come to my car. Really small feature, but could be neat to know. The last feature that wasn't mentioned in the Tesla official release notes is the curvature assist functionality. But unfortunately, we have some bad weather here in Iceland, so I cannot show you that functionality at the moment. But I'll promise you, I will show you that functionality in some of my upcoming autopilot videos, so stay tuned. So these were the new features that came with the 2024.38.6 version of the Tesla software. I really hope you liked this walkthrough, and maybe you can use some of the functionality that I mentioned in this video. If you liked this video, please check out my other content on my channel, and please consider subscribing because it really helped my channel grow. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share. See you in my next video.